From Kuma Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Toyota South Africa Motors officially showcased to guests its expanded 80,000 square meter parts distribution center in Boxburg last month. The center is now the largest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Marlene Arnoldi visited the site. The first stage of the distribution center was built in 2012 and comprised 40,000 square meters of space. The second stage, which added another 40,000 square meters, started with construction in January 2020. The renamed facility Toyota Africa Parts Center started operating in April 2021 with an additional 33,000 square meters of racks, which required just under 2,000 tons of steel. The new facility consolidates what used to be two warehouses for TSIM and allows for more efficient customer service, particularly as the company looks to grow its supply into more African markets. The TIPC now forms part of five distribution hubs globally, covering Toyota's component distribution. TSIM President and CEO Andrew Kirby tells us more about the rationale for an expanded facility. Well, we built the first phase of this facility in 2012, and at the time we recognized that we were running out of space to be able to support all our customers with, with service and crash parts. And, uh, did our forecasting, looking into the future, making sure that the facility would be able to cope with the requirements. And uh, we, at that point, already recognized that that was only going to be uh, phase one of, of, the, of the process. So we established the 40,000 square meters here, always with the understanding that that could be expanded um, later on. So that's, yeah, that, that's how we established it here. So the reason for then expanding it uh, to, to 80,000 square meters was, was to first of all consolidate two of the warehouses that we were using and then to look at how we could improve our efficiencies and obviously our service to the customer and also uh, become a, a far stronger parts distribution hub for Africa. So we've already now started to directly supply 36 countries in, in Africa. Uh, some of the other countries we are supplying indirectly and we're now in a phase of adding more and more countries as we go, uh, which is why we're talking about this centre as the Toyota Africa Path Centre. The TAPC facility comes complete with solar photovoltaic rooftop capacity of 575 kilowatts, which the company plans on expanding to 1.5 megawatts by the end of the year. TSIM also plans on adding battery storage capacity to the building in 2023, which will take the facility off-grid. The facility comprises inbound, storage, outbound and distribution processes with TSIM receiving and sorting about 84,000 parts daily from 220 local suppliers and 4 international suppliers. TSIM undertakes daily deliveries to all of its 277 dealers in South Africa and neighbouring countries including Namibia, Botswana and Eswatini. These trucks travel more than 60,000 kilometres per day. Kirby unpacks the activities within the facility and the company's green fleet ambitions to reach net zero emissions by 2050. So we stock at any one time about 2.7 million uh, parts, so it's, it's a substantial amount. We carry about 900 million rands worth of, of stock. Uh, daily we, we're shipping out about 22,000 lines of parts per day just to our South African and BLE uh, dealers and then another roughly 3,600 lines per day into, into Africa. Uh, we also have a vision to make sure that the site becomes carbon neutral. So we've already started by expanding the installation of solar panels and by 2023 next year we're going to be adding battery uh, storage as well so we can extend the number of operating hours and uh, get to the point where we are completely off the grid. And we're also adding some hybrid trucks to our distribution network. We're going to be piloting that this year and expanding that with more new energy vehicles to reduce the distribution uh, footprint as well as, as well as recycling or rather rainwater harvesting water and, um, and, and making sure that our carbon footprint is, is as low as possible. During this year's Tour de France held in July, Information technology company Dimension Data's Bryanston campus was used to deliver real-time graphics and digital analysis to the broadcasters of the race as well as the race organizers. Tasneem Bulbulia has the story. Backed by a team of data specialists and engineers in the country, this forms part of an overall technology solution being provided by Japanese technology multinational NTT, which owns Dimension Data and is a technology partner to the Amori Sport Organization. 
Dimension Data Middle East and Africa Chief Marketing Officer Marissa Janssen van Furen explains. The NTT sponsors the Tour de France. They're the official technology partner of the Tour de France. Um, but historically, Dimension Data, who is part of the NTT family, have really been involved in driving the innovation around delivering the technology for the Tour de France. So what we deliver out of South Africa is really the data analytics um, engine. We've got teams supporting the team um, globally um, around the world, as well as the live team in France to deliver live analytics and data to the race, which really augments the experience for fans out there. So whether it's on digital channels, um, uh, where they can see the exact position and timing in the race, whether it's enhancing graphics on the television, or whether it's providing a live feed to social media, all of the data that we analyze and the platforms that we've built out of South Africa really en enables those experiences for fans. Van Furen outlines the process for Dimension Data to get to this point and to be able to deliver this solution. So in 2010, NTT acquired Dimension Data. At the time, we were um, a global company uh, headquartered um, out of South Africa. And in 2015, Dimension Data, we're really looking for um, an area where we can deliver great innovation. Um, cycling was a industry that was very late to digitize. And when we started to meet with the ASO, we realized that there was a fantastic opportunity for us to really revolutionize the way that uh, fans can experience the race. So the very first conversations around around the Tour de France started right here in South Africa. Um, and also the South African teams have been very much part of delivering and driving that innovation over the years and continue to be part of that global team that delivers uh, the solution. We've got colleagues um, based in France, we've got some of our South African colleagues uh, based in France, we've got colleagues based here in South Africa, Australia and all over the world delivering different aspects of the race. Uh, but given the the skills and the experience with applications that is here in South Africa, we are uniquely positioned to really drive the innovation around the data analytics platform, the data analysis, and how we use that um, for visualization on television and other digital channels. Van Buren outlined some of the benefits that this solution engenders. So some of the benefits of the solution that we deliver um, particularly for fans, is it gives them a richer experience and it, um, you know, the, the, the stage is a very long stage. Not everyone has time to look at the television for that long um, and whether you've got the luxury of that time or not, the second screen experience really enhances that experience. Uh, but it also gives more people access to an interesting aspect of the race. And so we've been able to really attract younger audiences who are digital native, who wants to, to engage with the race on that, um, those platforms. So we've been able to bring broaden um, the, the experience of the Tour de France that coming together of one of the biggest sporting races in the world. But also um, for the ASO as well in terms of the, the product that they deliver. Ultimately they deliver incredible sporting experiences to fans. That's the product that they deliver and they want to continuously innovate and enhance those experiences just as any company around the world wants to enhance the customer experience that they provide. And so the technology that we deliver to them um, is able really to enhance that product that they deliver and ultimately um, can derive new revenue streams from them. For the cycling teams themselves, um, it provides more exposure. Cycling is a sport um, that's quite tenuous in terms of the funding model, it's very um, based on sports sponsorship. There's no regular um, uh, um, streams of revenue. And so the ability to enhance the exposure of the sponsors of these teams, again, provides more teams the ability to compete um, for this, um, this great accolade. So whether you're a fan, whether you the ASO is a business improving their customer experience, or whether you are a team cycling in the Tour de France, there's a benefit for everyone to be had out of the technology that we deliver. Van Furen highlights new elements that the solution provided this year. This year we, we are really enhancing um, and delivering many more aspects of uh, the Digital Twin, the largest connected stadium in the world. So we've taken uh, the solution which really started about uh, with tracking the, the cyclists themselves and being able to understand where they are and what the data is that we can get from them, that geospatial ping 
to now starting to track other aspects of uh, the Tour de France, which um, starts to create this big connected stadium environment. Um, and if you can imagine um, the difficulty with doing that, uh, you know, a normal stadium, it's difficult enough to do it there. This is something that moves around fr France for over 3,000 kilometers and the ability to continuously track and create this connected stadium as the race moves through France and through other European countries um, is something that we've been um, able to perfect over the last couple of years and truly start delivering um, this year. Van Furen outlines the opportunities that the Tour de France films of Vax Swift, a ladies race held following the Tour de France, presented for the solution. The Tour de Femme is really exciting because we're able to um, trial and innovate some technology there that you know we we might not be able to to introduce into the men's race yet and so this year we'll be able to have access to some of the audio in terms of the communications to uh, with the different teams in the female race and i'm very very excited for that to kick off on the champs Elysees in paris uh, when the men's the day after the men's race arrives van buren explains on how the solution could be deployed in south africa so the solution um, being driven out of South Africa is a core capability that um, Dimension Data has um, that uh, is not um, not found in, in some of our other countries. Um, and absolutely, the solution that we deliver here and the skills that we've got here allows us to apply that solutions to many industries, whether it's to enhance um, uh, you know, the way the efficiency that we run factories with, the way that we deliver um, and, and monitor what happens down in a mine, uh, the way that we're able to, to track crowds when we've got big gatherings at stadiums to improve the safety or, or to improve this experience. You know, where's the, where's the closest place for me to, to buy a drink um, or go to the bathroom, for instance. And so our ability, uh, we're uniquely placed to provide those solutions right here in South Africa to other sporting events but also to a multitude of industry and some of the biggest brands in South Africa um, through our connected industry offering um, using IoT, edge computing and the power of the network to really bring all of those things together um, and deliver the, uh, specific build solutions for specific industries to really improve their productivity, reduce their risk or open up new revenue streams for them. Um, and we are one of the only companies uh, in the world that can deliver that from the network right up to the application. You've got many networking companies, many application companies, but there's very few that can bring all of that together in a single solution, in a single organization, and we are uniquely placed to do that. Van Vuren also touches on how people's privacy has been protected. Naturally, we live in a world where you know, we are being constantly monitored, whether it's from our mobile phones, uh, whether it's through our activity online. And so, of course, we want to make sure that um, the more we start monitoring and tracking more things beyond just the cyclists at the Tour de France, that we're able to make sure that we comply to all of the privacy and data regulations that go with that. Um, of course, doing new things, it's always um, challenging in the beginning uh, to overcome some of the barriers to entry. And so as we've been deploying this um, huge connected stadium solution, uh, where we're tracking more than just the cyclists, we've had to work with um, some of the owners of different parts of the race. So for instance, the organizations that provide the logistics and the trucks that drive all of the equipment around to set up the, the live race villages etc um, to make sure that we are um, able to to get their consent and work with them uh, to deliver um, that data tracking and so we've had to engage um, to overcome that um, to a certain extent. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.